I personally did not think that there was a Parfums de Marley fragrance that I not only didn't hear of, but haven't smelled yet, and it isn't a new release, but apparently there is. Today's video is sponsored by Max Aroma. I did request this particular fragrance because I've never heard of this fragrance before. I don't know if it's a new release. I doubt it. I've never smelled it. I've never even heard of it. I can barely pronounce the name, but today we're going to be unboxing Kuhu Yan by Parfums de Marley. No idea. Let's roll my music so we can unbox the joint and see if it's worthy to be with the rest of the lineup. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. See to you to be today. Who and where did this come from? I've been to the Parfums de Marley boutique on several occasions and never has this crossed my path. I'm really like curious. I, I might just look it up on my phone just to see when this joint came out because I'm just really surprised I never heard of this joint. Damn, this launched in 2013. I am slacking. Let me look up the notes now that I just looked up the date and see what this is about, because I didn't look up notes either. I just was like, yeah, I need to check this shit out. Violet leaf, jasmine, leather, heliotrope, ambergris, oud, and tonka bean. We'll see. All right, here is Kuhuyuan, Kuhuyan, Kuhuyan, whatever, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Clearly this is first impression, so we're gonna figure it all out together, and let's see if this joint is any good. Well, let's see if you're worthy to be in the Parfums de Marley lineup there, my friend. Parfums de Marley, Koo Yan. Very light on paper. I get a very subtle violet leaf. I get a lot of that heliotrope. There's a lot of white, bright florals here. I don't get much of the leather right now. It's also really faint on paper. Spicy, slightly leather, white florals. It smells peppery. Also a little bit of like licorice. Smells peppery and licorice. On um, paper, it's not doing shit. Be honest with you, that's, it's, I don't know, lately fragrances I've been smelling really light on paper. I don't know if maybe I'm spraying them shits bad. I don't, I don't know. Let me try this joint on skin to see if I'm getting any of those notes that were listed because on paper it really didn't do much to move me. Okay, definitely has way more performance and way more personality off skin as it should but I'm getting prominent heliotrope and licorice. Licorice, the leather here is very minimal. It's not that crazy. It's more of an airy, floral, spicy, slightly leather. I'm not getting blasts of oud either. I'm getting more licorice spiciness than anything else right now. Mm. Okay, it's definitely changing the more it dries down. Let me give this joint a couple minutes so I can get down to the mid and base of this to determine if this is any good. I can tell you right from jump, clearly you can tell by my face and reaction, it's not a panty dropping ooh like some of the other perfumes de Marley. That it is not. But I want to determine if it's like good. Because right now it's just okay. It's not crazy, but we'll see. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes. We should be at mid to dry down portion. The violet leaf is not super present. It's a little bit more sniffable, but I'm still getting more of a woody licorice type vibe with some spiciness, some airy white florals, not so much leather, just a little bit of leather. The oud, I barely pick it up, and it's more of a freshy, spicy type fragrance. It's not great, it's just okay, in my opinion. It's nothing that I would pay retail for. There's nothing here like a particular characteristic that blows me out of the water, it's just okay. Like on a scale of one to 10, I can pretty much say that for me, this fragrance is leaning somewhere along the lines of like a five, eight, five, nine. Not a ball sprayer. This is not a fragrance that I would put, you know, there's so many like bangers in that lineup. This is not one of them. This is more of like a casual chill type vibe, but it's a little bit like licorice prominent to my nose and it just isn't moving me. Like it doesn't feel like it's a performance beast. It doesn't feel like it has more leathery nuances than I'm looking for. I think it's dried down at least a decent amount for me to be able to determine on what it's gonna be on my skin. Just okay, it's not a bad fragrance. There's nothing off putting on it, but it's gonna be a pricey fragrance for a scent profile that's just eh. So 
not a ball sprayer for me. Just keeping it a thousand. That's probably why it hasn't really been on my radar. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Shout out to Max Roma for sponsoring today's video. If you're still interested, I'll put a link in the description for you guys. Let me know if there's any other undiscovered perfumes in Marley that are worth me checking out, and I will absolutely do so. I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game? Smimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim